It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay. We are pleased to be joined now by our winning race team, the Coke Zero 400, powered by Coke Cola. And the winner tonight is. Kyle Bush in the number 18 Interstate Batteries Toyota, Crew Chief Steve Addington, owner Joe Gibbs. Congratulations, gentlemen. This is Kyle's sixth win of the season. He's got 60 bonus points now uh, once we would head into the, uh, the chase. So super job tonight, Kyle. Your first win at Daytona, back-to-back -back wins now at restrictor plate tracks. Uh, your thoughts about uh, the race certainly uh, had a lot of uh, ups and downs and excitement out there towards the end. Your thoughts? We did. You know, it was a, a great night for us. We really had a, a pretty good car. You know, it wasn't the best one out there, but uh, it was good enough where we were able to get it up towards the front and, you know, race there much of the night. And then we had a great push from Danny down the back straightaway. And I pulled out a line to go around the 88 car there on the inside. And when I did, the air hit my nose and just uh, pinned it to the racetrack. And I got squirrely there. And luckily, I was able to hang on to it. Wasn't anything that Danny did, but, um, you know, just had to save it, got down to the apron and uh, rode around there, tried not to come back up on the racetrack in front of anybody else and let everybody get by and, um, you know, pulled back up behind all those guys. So, you know, it was a close call, but uh, we made it through it and then drove back up through the field a little ways. And when the caution came out, we came in, got some tires and raced with them there towards the end of the race and got up front when it mattered most. So something that was pretty cool. Crew Chief Steve Addington, uh, Six win this season for this race team. Uh, how did it look up top the pit box tonight for you? <laughs> it was <laughs> nerve-wracking. and I mean, you got to leave it to the spotter and uh, Kyle to, to get through the traffic and all that stuff. You really can't see a whole lot that's going on except watching the monitor and just going off by what he's saying and try to make the right adjustments for him. And it all worked out. I, th I thought we were in big trouble there with the deal with, with Denny bumping him and then it shoved him out of line there. But... We recovered from it, and he he drove it back to the front. He, uh, this race team uh, certainly having a lot of success this season. Uh, your thoughts now, winning here at Daytona with the number 18 car? Yeah, no, it, this one means a lot. Uh, obviously, for us, <clears throat> for Interstate Batteries, and Norm Miller and the guys out, out of Dallas there, that they've been with us from day one. It's, it's special for them. That's a big deal. I think just, to, again, a testament to to Steve and Kyle and the team we have there and the fact that they're able to you know, capitalize on our opportunities. Cause we, had, we had three good cars here, but um, Steve and those guys did a good job just capitalizing and, and getting that victory. So that's, that's a blessing. We'll take questions now for uh, this championship team. We'll start right over here, and we'll get to everybody. Go ahead, please. Kyle, Tom Jensen from SpeedTV.com. Congratulations on tonight an exceptional season. <clears throat> Jeff Gordon last year, when he was winning all the races at the start of the year, said, man, I hope I don't use all my luck up in the first half of the year. And you seem to have had all the luck that your two teammates on your team haven't had. Do you worry at all that when it gets to be chase time that you'll have used up a, all that good fortune? Well, I hope not. You know, I mean, I've had uh, some good times in the past couple of years, but nothing that's ever been as, as lucky as this. And even felt like we had a lot of bad luck, you know, in, when I was in that five car. But, you know, this year the um, – the, or the past couple of years, you know, the 18 car hasn't been uh, hasn't been so grateful with luck, you know, and the 11 and the 20 seem to have it. So, uh, fortunately, it's kind of turned a little bit, and you know, unfortunately for those guys, fortunately for for this team, but you know, it's still a big part of Joe Gibbs Racing, and that's what matters most is to be able to get these three cars running well. Tony had a good car. I'm sorry that he had to get out for feeling uh, feeling ill, but and then Denny, you know, he had a pretty good car and pretty fast car too, and he got back in traffic and got mixed up in some of those melees, I guess, but. Um, you know, we were just able to stay clear, and yeah, that was pretty lucky, and, and getting the right breaks when they mattered most, and hopefully we don't wear it out, but, um, you know, you just never know when this deal can turn, and so um, you try to, I mean, there's no rabbit's foot, there's no four-leaf clover, there's none of that stuff that I've got stashed in my pockets anywhere, but if there was somewhere that I knew it would bring luck, I'd keep it. Question right here, then we'll move around the room, and then we'll go upstairs. Go ahead. David, pool sharp observer, Kyle, the Jeff said he was kicking himself for hit letting you get to the bottom when you took the lead before all the melee at the end can you just talk about that stage of the race and that move and what where you were and how you saw it 
Yeah, the uh, the Roush cars behind us were really strong. You know, when they got tied up together, they were really working well as teammates. And I think it was the 17 there who had a great run on the outside. And uh, I went up to block it down a front stretch and then pulled back down into turn one and two and because he got to my quarter panel. And then Jeff and I were down on the bottom going down a back stretch. And then Jeff pulled up to block the 17, and he did. But then he didn't come back down soon enough. You just can't maneuver these cars as well as you could the old car. You know, he... He couldn't turn from the top lane all the way down to the bottom lane in enough time to block my run, so he was kind of stuck where he was at, you know. But um, and then the caution came out there once I got my nose in front of him or I got my car in front of him. I don't remember how soon it was, but you know we got the break there where uh, we got the lead for the caution, and then uh, we're able to lead that restart. Take two more questions here, then go upstairs before coming back down here. Go ahead, uh, Joseph Goodman, Miami Herald. It looks like you. Uh had a little fun with the crowd afterwards with um, all the theatrics. Well, what do you think about the booze? It don't matter. We're here to win races, and as long as we're winning races, we're doing our job. So, you know, there's a lot of Dale Jr. fans out there tonight that I'm sure don't like to see me win, and there's a lot of Kyle Busch fans there that are that, that do like to see me win. So uh, I had a few of those over on the back stretch, went and gave them a good burnout, and then uh, came over around to the front stretch and got my checker flag, which I like to collect. So, um, you know, that was pretty nice. and. You know, there's a lot of fans out there that uh, made a lot of noise, so as long as you're getting noise, you're here doing something right. Take one more here and then go upstairs. Go ahead. Uh, Bob Pockers, NASCAR scene. Um, J.D., can you talk about um, the decision to put Yaley in the car? Was he your first choice? And um, can you give us kind of an update on Tony? Yeah, no, I think for, for us, J.J. was, <clears throat> hey, look, he's driven our stuff for a long time. We think a lot of J.J. And so, yeah, that was definitely the guy we wanted to – having that car or something happened. So Tony started the race, <clears throat> got some IV, and felt pretty good with some fluids in him. I think uh, once the race started going, though, he realized he wasn't going to be able to finish it. And so we had J.J. I thought we'd, our guys did a great job being prepared to get Tony out, J.J. in, which isn't easy, even at a speedway with, with uh, you know, as much time as you have. So they did a good job there, and I think uh, Tony's just going to take some time. He really wasn't feeling good uh, all day today, and I think he's, uh, I think he's feeling a little better now, uh, but I think um, it's just going to take a little time, and he'll be fine. Go upstairs for two questions. Go ahead. I'm this Mark Dakotas from Florida today for Kyle. Kyle, this has to be one of the wildest races that's been here in a long time, and yet you seem pretty pretty darn calm and collected. Is this something you're getting used to, or maybe is your heart still beating that you're just not showing it? Thank you. Uh, no, it was pretty crazy, that's for sure. Um, you know, there in the beginning part of the race, our cars were skating around a lot, and not as much as they were at the end, I don't think, but um, still – you know, skating around a little bit, trying to get the handling right, and then uh, had our mishap and had to go back in traffic and drove through traffic pretty well, just kept a calm, cool head and tried to get back up there as far as I could. And I knew there was still a pit stop left to adjust on the car and to get some tires on it and to, you know, let my guys do some work on pit road on gaining me spots. So, you know, you just had to keep a cool head tonight. And, um, you know, fortunately, um, having a good car, that, that helps. And then, of course, um, you know, being able to have some good helpers out there Matt Kenseth, I mean, I really got to thank him for, for there at the end of the race. I mean, if it wasn't for him getting in behind me there and pushing me and then, uh, you know, my brother got behind Carl there. And I knew the 17 was better than what the 2 was, so I had better help than, than the 99. But still, uh, the 17 was strong and, and helped us. Stay upstairs for questions. Go ahead. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Kyle, can you explain what happened when your steering went on lap one or lap 82? Um, it wasn't that really the steering that went. Um, when I got hit from Denny and, and um, you know, I pulled out a line to try to pass, uh, the air pinned the nose, and it just got me squirrely down a straightaway. There was really no rear grip in the rear tires while I was going straight for whatever reason. So um, just had to slow it down, get it straight, and uh, rode the apron there. And then I think when I rode the apron, Steve mentioned it, that, um, you know, I, I must have peeled the tires pretty bad because they were so hot that uh, when I got going for the next couple laps, it just felt like, the steering wheel had a lot of play in it, you know, but I think the tires were just so hot that they weren't reacting. They were just sliding on the surface of the racetrack. So just had to let them cool down a little bit and, um, you know, get, get everything back together and get, go get back going.